This week on Command N, Twitter wrapping paper, Millennials rock Facebook, and how to protect yourself from hackers. Welcome to episode 131 of Command N. I'm Amber. We are in the final stretch of 2010. We decided to come here to Greek Town in Toronto to do one of our last episodes of the year. We have a great show for you today, including some holiday picks and lots of news. So let's get started. Our headlines this week are brought to us by our friends at GoDaddy.com. If you want to sign up for any of their domain names or hosting packages, you can save some money by using one of our Command N promo codes. One of my favorites is a deal where you get $5 off an order of $30 or more on a new order. All you have to do is enter the promo code COM530, that's C-O-M-M-530, and thanks for your support. Google's Zeitgeist video for 2010 is now online. It features some of the most memorable moments of the year, from triumphs to tragedies. Pew Internet Research just released a study where they surveyed more than 2,200 web users and found that blogging is experiencing a sharp decline among people between the ages of 18 and 33. So if you're planning your social media strategy and you're trying to reach out to people in this age range, perhaps you don't want to rely on blogging as your primary tool. Do you want to be my friend? What? Do you want to be my friend, confirm or ignore? All right. Aside from Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg being named Times Person of the Year, we have some other Facebook news for you. A think tank in the U.S. just discovered that 81% of people in Generation Y, they are also called the Millennials, are on Facebook every single day. And that is twice the number of people in this age group who are watching television and getting their news from newspapers. So uh, a big surprise. Twitter just released its list of the most powerful tweets of 2010. Here are three of my favorites. U.S. President Barack Obama giving a digital high five to the U.S. President when he signed on to Twitter and sent out his first message. Also, BP Oil's PR parody account, which is probably one of the most memorable Twitter accounts of the year and definitely one of the funniest. I also love Jonathan Schwartz's Twitter account and his tweet that he sent out when he resigned from Sun Microsystems and he sent it out as a haiku. The world's oldest scientific computer, which was lost for more than 2,000 years, was recovered in 1901 after a shipwreck, and now someone has created a replica using Lego. not a victim of the recent Gawker hack where more than 200,000 usernames and passwords were released online. What kind of surprised me is that the Wall Street Journal released a report where they talked about the most common Gawker passwords and they were password, 123456, and the list of stupidity goes on and on and on. Some tips for creating safe passwords. Your password should be at least eight characters long and it should include a combination of letters and numbers, both uppercase and lowercase letters. Also, you should use different passwords depending on what you're doing online. For example, you should have one password for your financial sites and maybe another password for all of your content sites. And that will help you to stay very safe on the web. Hi, I'm Jeff MacArthur, and this week's Tech Tips is five fun holiday links. First up is magicsanta.ca, where you can go through a three-step process to create a custom video message from Santa for the kids in your life, complete with the child's picture and other personalizations. It looks pretty cool, actually. If you want to see how things are looking over the holiday around the world, then check out Email Santa's Christmas webcams, which include a variety of countries, as well as penguin cams in Antarctica and other fun stuff. 
Tweet wrap is a neat way to cross over your holiday cheer with your love of Twitter. Simply choose a pattern and then select your tweets based on username or keyword and the simple online app will create customized wrapping paper that you can order online. If you want to keep an eye on Santa's progress on Christmas Eve, check out the official NORAD Santa Tracker website at noradsanta.org. There's even an option to track Santa from your mobile device. Very cool, so you can see where he is at no matter where you're at. Finally, you can get a personalized call from Santa at oh, sendacallfromsanta.com by filling out some fun details and then specifying a phone number or email address that your message will be sent to. You have been a very good IT guy. Note that it's a Google Voice function, so the phone numbers are US only, but you'll get a link and you'll also be able to put in an email address, so it should work anywhere. So don't forget to leave me some baba ganoush. Hope you have some fun with those. That's all for this week. I'm Jeff MacArthur. Enjoy. Our web pick this week is from friend of the show, Ravi, who sent us a link to a website called Worth Monkey, which is a great place to go if you are selling it used gear and you want to find out how much it is worth. All you do is enter the item that you want to sell and you will find an estimate of how much that item should go for. That's all for today's Snowy Show. I wanted to mention that we are now consistently putting each episode up on YouTube. So if you like YouTube, please add us as a friend. And also if you're on Facebook, it would be great if you shared Command N there as well because it's so easy to do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the comments and happy holidays. And now it's time for a blooper web pick. We've never had one before, but we <laughs> ran into Jeremy. Hi. How are you doing? Very good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. And I have to say you have one of the best websites online, or best blogs, I should say. So uh, let's give it a little promo. Wow. High praise. Thank you. Uh, pop culture, or uh, uh, culturepop.blogspot.com. But just type in pop culture, you'll find me. And you have some great content out there. Just uh, geeky nerd mashups. We love it. Yeah, uh, I guess it's fitting. All right, Jeremy. <laughs> see you later. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Have a nagila.